A man who had rented a room from a main couple has been arrested and charged with ambushing them inside their home and stabbing the husband and wife to death in an apparently unprovoked Patrick Marr, 24, of Turner, was charged with two counts of murder and was held at the Androscoggin County Jail in connection with the homicidal attack that took place. According to Maine State Police, officers responded to a home on Knight Farm Road just after 30 a.m. for reports of a home invasion and found Troy Varney, 52, unresponsive on the floor and his wife, Dulcie Varney, 48, suffering from injuries. Show this article share both spouses later died at a hospital in Lewiston. The Lewiston Sun Journal reported that Marr, who was the Varney couple's tenant, had ambushed it and stabbed them multiple times. No motive has been offered. The mortally injured husband reportedly put up a fight and held on to Marr until the first officers arrived and took him into custody. A relative of the visitant said that in the days leading up to the tragedy, Dulcie had talked about feeling afraid of her tenant, Marr. For unspecified, Mar worked at a grocery store and attended a community college last year. Prior to renting a room at the Varney family's home, he had lived with his mother. He has no prior criminal history in Maine. A family member of Mers told the paper he had been acting odd in recent weeks and had been struggling with depression triggered by the COVID-19. Mers' unusual behavior had been reported to the police, but it is unclear who made that report and how it was addressed. He is being held in the Andrews Coggin County Jail without bail. Dulcie Varney was a nursing instructor who worked at Lewiston Regional Technical Center and was the sort of educator that every student should be blessed with at least once in their school careers. The school's director. Rob Callahan, wrote in a letter to the school community. Her husband Troy was a farmer and also owned and operated an excavation company. Dulcie and Troy met his children, were high school sweethearts who got married in 1997. They are survived by their two daughters, Audrey and Shelby. Troy and Dulcie's lives were their children, a relative wrote in the description of the GoFundMe. They were very proud parents who loved their daughters and family very much. They would do anything to help Barbara Barney Beauty, a cousin of the victims, described them to WGME as a hard-working couple who loved one another and doted up. They were devoted to their community and would always be there to help whenever someone needed a hand. The Varini's joint obituary Troy was a loving family man and Dulcie will be remembered as a selfless caregiver, always putting others before her own.